love y'all. Yay. How's everybody feeling tonight? Amazing. amazing. Listen, y'all amazing. better be feeling amazing. <laughs> Listen, it's ladies night and, and, and I'm feeling right. Y'all feel how I feel? Yes. yes. All right, let's go. Oh, oh yes, it's ladies night. And the feeling is right. Oh, yes, it's ladies' night. Oh, what a, oh, what a night. <laughs> <laughs> mine's up, mine's oh, up, beautiful baby. people. Listen, it is my birthday weekend. And, of course, you know I had to have my ladies with me. Y'all know I have a thing for women in business, women who are positive, powerful, and out here doing things on purpose, okay? Amen. And so... Uh, what what we do? I'm sorry. Oh, put your mic on. All right, my bad. <laughs> Thank you, Zay. See, you, y'all know the boss man got to be in here because, you know, I, I know some stuff, but I don't know everything, okay? <laughs> I can't see everything. Y'all know I'm only like five feet, so I can't see over certain things, okay? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So clap it up for y'all for being here. I want to thank all of y'all for tuning in. Make sure that... um. Real quick, guys, that you guys go to your Facebook pages and share the Instagram. Not Instagram. I'm sorry. Go to y'all could go to my page and just share the live from my page. That Got would it. that would be that would be the best thing. Okay. So if y'all could just do that, and while that's why y'all doing that. I'm going to talk to everybody about, you know, how, how, how y'all week went. How did y'all week go this week, man? You know, we all women in business out here. We doing our thing. And sometimes it could be a little challenging. But you know what? I know everybody at this table is resilient as hell. Yes. <laughs> That's Amen. why y'all in here with me. You heard? Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So how did your week go? How did your week go? How did your week go? Tell me something good. I only want to hear good news right now because we got enough bad news to report about. <laughs> I, I, I had some good news. I went on vacation. So okay. From Aruba, I went to Houston. Okay. I got back from my little two-week vacation. I'm jealous. Look, where, okay. where, the, where the button at that yeah. say, boo? Right. <laughs> 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 Atlanta to Aruba to Houston. Oh my goodness, that was a lot. That was it's been my month of travel, but now I'm back. You back? back. Okay. I'm back. Well, look, I know next time you better take me with you. That's all I gotta say. How was your week? Get closer to your mic. So how 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 was your week, Ty? My week is always lovely. I know blessed, that's right. I'm blessed. I'm highly favored. Amen. Amen. Living life and uh-huh. always booked and busy. That's what I'm talking about, booked and busy. And look, I already know this woman next to me has been more than booked and busy. Tell me about your week this week. She has a, a, a beautiful bambino coming in this Yay. world, man. Clap it up. Congratulations. Congratulations week to you, Madison. So how was your week, man? This week, actually, I sort of took a little bit of time for me. God bless you. <laughs> it's very important to reset. Yes. Because the fall market is here, so next week I'll be ready. Right. Okay. Yes. I know that's Last right. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah. What? Yeah. Y'all already right. know how it Fourth goes. So look, quarter. we gonna get into our show tonight. Um, did y'all tag a friend? Tag a friend? Y'all shared it? Yes. Y'all shared it? Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and so let's let's just go ahead and get right on into this. So as Dada told you guys, it's my birthday. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? Of course. Right. Huh? How, how, how are you, you feeling? feeling? How was your week? Uh, how was my week? Yes. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. How you feeling? Okay. How you do? I'm doing. I'm doing good. You know, I'm. I'm I feel amazing. Um, of course, I don't look like I'm about to be 49. And but don't. I'm about to okay. be 49. Pushing 50. Oh, Lord. So, no, but for me, I don't feel like that. You know, some people, they about to turn a certain age. They be like, oh, don't tell them my age. Let me tell you, I smile to say I'm, I'm 49 because I don't look anything like that. There's a and lot don't. of y'all that are out here 23 that don't look as good as me. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know the same. I'm just saying. <laughs> but we definitely 
we gonna go ahead and get right on into our show. And we gonna start off with our hot topics. So first, let me tell you guys tonight, we are working and, and rocking with feminines and finance, all right? So each one of these women are entrepreneurs, business owners, um, and they are out here changing lives with what it is that they do. But they all have some really good business tips and sense to give to you guys today. So we're gonna be talking credit, taxes, entrepreneurship, life insurance, as well as the big one, real estate, right? Because like Ooh. y'all still trying to figure it out, like, how do I get into real right. estate? I don't know where to start. But guess what? That's what Madison is going to help y'all with today, hey, right? Love so it, give it love up it, for Molly. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So we going to start with our hot topics. And our hot topics today, I know usually y'all used to us talk about Diddy and everybody else, whatever. <laughs> but not today, okay? Today we're going to talk about your money, okay? That so works. I definitely want to tap into the fact that there are a couple, a lot actually, a lot of businesses that are actually closing down or closing down a few locations, which is kind of weird. So I'm going to name some of these companies. I want y'all to tell me what y'all feel about this. So it, it tells me that uh, Red Lobster, Red Lobster, the popular seafood chain, has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Did y'all know that? Yes. Wow. But why? Everybody loves Red Lobster. You would think so, but if you go into one, they're pretty empty. I love uh, restaurants. I don't know the restaurants are empty though. Years. I remember yeah. the last time I went was maybe a couple years ago, and there was like no one in there. What? Yeah, I was surprised. I was yeah, surprised. That, that and the food was me. good. Well, did somebody like? Did, is there another competitor that kind of wiped them out that y'all could think of? Like so, those crab shack or I mean, somebody? Well, all the seafood boil trucks. Right. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing. More authenticity. Yes. Since the pandemic, there's right. been a lot more of, DoorDash. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Okay, so let's go to the next one, right? Aid. I would have never expect a, f- a pharmacy company really? to be going down. Yeah, guys, they tell you that Rite Aid is a pharmacy chain that's closing several stores as a part of its restructuring a- efforts. So I guess they're going to be rebranding things or rebuilding things. So they're not really saying the exact number of locations that's still being finalized, but there are some Rite Aids that are going to be shut down in order for them to reconstruct the whole Rite Aid brand. And now, some Walgreens, too. Some Walgreens and some CVSs. Are also, oh, really? They're not all of their stores, like right okay. Here, but they're definitely going to be closing Make some sure of the chains. Talking to Mike, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Oh man, that's not awesome. That's bad. But damn, <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to saying awesome, but geez, okay, that's not really too awesome. Okay, do we have a family video? Are y'all familiar with that family video? I don't watch video. I don't watch like. DVD type stuff or whatever, but it's the movie mm-hmm. rental chain. It looks like they're going to be closing the remaining 250 stores. Wow. Um, where is, That's where is that store located? I've I, I never have heard no of You said family video? Yeah. Yeah. That must be down south somewhere. Guys, maybe. maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, you know, and then, Netflix guys, and shockingly, Starbucks says Starbucks. Really? They, yes, they're closing 500 stores in the United States to focus wow. on the drive through and curbside pickup options. Okay. Mm. I guess, right? Right. Wow. So I, I guess. mean, but they do need to. Um, <laughs> no, but you know what? That's, that's, a new that, one. that's the problem. We need to get with the time. Right. Yes. It's you know? so, 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 so true. So, one of the things that I wanted us to talk about is of course being at his hot topics but we're not going to talk about whether you're going to vote for Trump or vote for Kamala but what we do want to talk about is how the election may actually impact our finances right yeah. um, so let's let's actually start with real estate and I'm going I'm to let Madison uh, elaborate on this hot topic I'm going to give y'all what the topic is and then I'm going to let you guys go because this is deep you know um, so for, for now the first thing that we have have going on with real estate is we're sharing here that the election outcomes can actually influence housing policies, interest rates, tax incentives, which in turn affect property values and mortgage rates. Oh my God, Madison, how do we? Jeez, well, well, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless here. So you know how. What else do you know that that this election? How might this election impact real estate? It's definitely going to impact not only real estate but uh, small businesses and entrepreneurship as a as a whole, mm. as a unit. So, like Takia said, I'll just give you 
um, some incentives that both both president candidates have to offer. I'll start with uh, Kamala. So Kamala, she is offering. Kamala. Com- I forgot, anyway, you know. Like Kamala. Sorry, right. you, you, we respect you, people's names. Right. You, ha- you have to say it, right? Kamala. So Kamala, yeah. she is offering three incentives for real estate. The first um, incentive, she's offering $25,000 towards home buying, first-time home buyers. Okay. Now, what I don't know, I meant to actually ask my lender, will that be coupled with the $22,000 they are already offering to home to first-time home buyers? Mm. So that's almost... Fifty thousand dollars, yeah. which is honestly, which will cover down payment mm-hmm. and and closing costs, and additionally, hopefully. hopefully, right, because the prices of the homes are triple since yep. COVID. Yep. Right. Um, and since August seventeenth, um, first time home well buyers have to now pay their realtor. So that mm-hmm. is an additional mm-hmm. ten to fifteen thousand dollars that's coming out of the buyer's pocket. Wow. Now it's not every single home, but the buyers effective um, August seventeenth, yes. they no longer have to contribute to the buying side. Some oh. some still will, but there's a vast majority that will not, especially if they're buying and selling at the same time. Mm. Wow. So that's okay. um, something to consider. Secondly, with Kamala, Kamala, I know she's offering a tax credit for um, $6,000 for first-time, I would say, parents. Okay. Um, okay. She would <laughs> right. She's and, like, I heard that part. Right, right. I, I heard that one. And the last component with um, Kamala, she is offering instead of $5,000 for um, new business owners, she's offering $50,000. Now, we all know when it comes to lending, um, minority business owners are, it's a little bit more harder to obtain a loan. Just base, just the time, the financial documents that must be in place, I'm not saying it's impossible. I am not saying that. But one must have their documentation in order. And from the debate, um, we all know that Trump is a businessman. He's Absolutely. A, he's a real right. estate mogul. Yes. So that will... Not necessarily a good one, but... <laughs> that, that will skyrocket the real estate market. The rates have been extremely high for two years. I'm talking about during COVID, they were 2%. Okay. And a lot of minorities did not understand what does what did that mean? Did that how, mean? Did that, yeah. how does that affect me? So with the interest rates climbing from 8 last last year, closing out 2023 20, to now finally hitting 6%, that will bring out more people to buy. Now, we also know that Trump is best friends with the Fed rate guy. Right. So that is something that many are speaking about. If he is elected as a president candidate, then the rates may go down a little bit more, which will bring liquid back into the community. Okay. So those are um, just some things that I know that will affect me directly. I know that's right. Because <laughs> guess what? If it's going to affect you, chances are it's going to affect someone else. You yeah. know? And um, the way I see it is that we need to know what we need to know. So with, thank you so much for sharing that, Madison, yes. man. That was very helpful because, yes. you know, I don't know a whole lot. I know a lot, but not a whole lot. You know, I know enough, but not as Let much as you, you do. I, I personally to... lived it. Yes. <laughs> I lived it. Right, true. Right, I bought property um, prior to the pandemic. Mm. For... Okay. Yes, three, equity. Three bedrooms, two baths. Can I get some on it? Anything pre-pandemic, yes. A three-family house for two hundred and ten thousand. Wow. Mm-hmm. I bought another one in the twenty twenty-two for six forty. Wow. Wow. Similar neighborhoods, everything. The and like you so said, the rates went like three times the price. Like the three rate went times all the price. The way up. Then just, taxes mm-hmm. went all the way up. Yes, so, especially yeah. in. That's crazy. I won't talk about it. Yeah. 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 Anyway to um, talk more about how that's affecting but let's hop into into life insurance and how life insurance 
Well, first of all, you guys, you guys know that life insurance is important, and if you didn't think it was important, you're going to learn why today. Amen. Because Atia is going to enlighten you guys in a big way on life insurance and its benefits. However, since we are in hot topics, I want to Atia to share with me how she thinks that this election may impact the life insurance policies of our people. Well, for the most part, um, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I That's like to, good news. Ain't y'all glad to hear it's that? It's very good news. You know, I tell people <laughs> inflation is still a thing, right? So funeral costs go up about 4% every single year. Inflation is still always going to be a factor, but it's not a major factor, right? Yes. Um, when it comes down to life insurance, the whole point is it's based on life. It's, I'm sorry, it's based on health and age. Okay? Yes. So if you get a policy today, you don't have to worry about that going up because the president changed. It, mm -hmm. We are going to change many presidents in our lifetime, That's right? That's true. And guess what? Your price is never going to change. So if you get a policy for $40 or a policy for $50, you know, a whole life policy, something that's going to build some cash value, some interest, those interest rates are going to be locked in as well as your price. So okay. I tell people all the time, even when it comes down to, um, let's say, actually, let's say you have a family member, you're the beneficiary, and that person passes away. That's non-taxable. Okay, mm -hmm. 100 grand is 100 grand goes directly mm -hmm. into your bank account. Right. So I'm safe. Um, and when the pandemic happened, my business grew more than ever. So, so far, when it comes down to the presidential elections, it's not something that's going to affect my business at all. I am in a business that's foolproof. People are going Amen. to forever die, and families are going to forever need to be taken care of. Amen. <laughs> not, forever, not forever die. That's, a, that's, a, that's the harsh truth. It's the reality of the <laughs> situation. Die. And guess what? The sooner we as a people understand that, then the majority of us will have life insurance like every other culture. But because right. we like to believe we're going to be invincible mm. we don't get life insurance until we're in our 60s and 70s yeah. when most people get life insurance on their babies at birth that's mm. very true okay that's very so i'll true. leave it there <laughs> well look listen i, I definitely we'll dive more yes right i was that's gonna say we could go we could go real we could go real deep with that we're gonna leave it we're gonna leave it there for now <laughs> for yeah. now yeah because we will be back yes <laughs> yes, yes um tatisha share with me how do you think this election is going to affect entrepreneurs um, <coughs> and I know I, all of us are entrepreneurs, so all mm -hmm. of us can actually get some insight on this. Mm -hmm. But Tatisha, how do you how do you think that it may the election may impact entrepreneurs? This election, I'm not really sure. Um, as far as small businesses, mm -hmm. I don't think it would affect the small businesses as much as the major corporations as we see. And yeah, they are shutting down. But with, but things. is that something for us to be concerned about though? Because if all of the, the major big businesses are truncating things. Absolutely. Is that going to lead us into having to truncate things? Madison? Absolutely. So these last two years, I, I must say, they have not been... Um, they haven't been... Money isn't moving the way it was pre-pandemic. And let's just be clear. Yeah, if sure. it was not for my investment property, who knows? So you guys have to... Sure. For me, I'm speaking about me. I'm speaking about no other business. Mm -hmm. When there's money in in the economy, people you know tend to support small businesses or just businesses in in general. So if there's no liquid moving around, um, small business owners are the first to go, mm -hmm. the first to go. Right. So this. Um, although they're not saying we are in a recession, we're in a recession. It's true, right? um, when you are self-employed, when you are an entrepreneur, 2023. Um, after second quarter, I, I really saw it. This year, I really felt it. When you are in a service business, I'm in a service business. Yeah, so, all of us are in a service so business, right? If some, if if your audience or your clientele or your demographic doesn't have any residual or any just discretionary funds. Buying a house is it's not is not right. not a priority for them. Absolutely, it is not. Exactly. So. It, this election does people affect my business. Right they can't afford to buy, Remember, but they also can't afford the rent. These laws don't come up overnight. We are still yes. under Trump's tax laws and everything. A mm. lot of people forget Talk that. About it. A lot of people forget that. You know, I, I, Sorry. it doesn't matter who we're going to vote for. Yes. But the biggest misconception is people are like, oh, look at how things are. Yeah, that's from whoever the previous president was. So as long as you acknowledge that, then you can say, all right, whether or not you want to change or keep things going the same way they're going. Mm. I agree. That's deep. That's deep, man. That's deep. So we Shadira was supposed to be with us. She had a family emergency, but that's okay because I have a group of 
extremely educated women who <laughs> Amen. can who can talk on any topics, including myself. But y'all know when I'm hosting, I kind of like to let everybody else talk. I try not to <laughs> I try not to teach too much when it when it's you know I'm bringing other people on. But okay, so let's talk about um, taxes. I which which um, Madison tapped on briefly. But uh, both presidential candidates have proposed different tax policies, including income tax rates, estate tax exemptions, and capital gain taxes. So that's the, the hot topics that I have on that. And then I have um, on credit that economic policies and regulatory changes can affect credit availability, interest rates, and consumer credit scores. What's your take on that, Madison? That was a lot, so <laughs> let me digest it. Yes, that's her area. I'm that was a lot. Yeah, I love this, it. This so, I love it. <laughs> I want to first. Can you just uh, scroll back? I heard, oh, sure. I, I heard capital gains. I definitely want to touch yeah, on so that. Yes, so let's go. Let's go back. We go back. We're gonna. We're gonna say uh, both. All right. So it was both. Presidential candidates have mm -hmm. proposed different tax policies, mm -hmm. including potential changes in income tax rates, okay, estate tax exemptions and capital gain taxes. Okay, so let's start with the taxes. First, we all know taxes always go up. They never go down. Well, some that's some towns do. That's true. Some, you know, some, I never some, some towns that's do. Facts. So, <laughs> taxes only rise, right? Yeah. So what, currently right now, Biden offered $15,000 tax credit for first-time home buyers, which means what exactly is, 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 is a tax credit? For example, let's say you made $100,000, right? And if you're going to receive a tax credit, so that's minus 15000 so your tax on eighty five dollars versus that six versus that hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars so that affects you with how much money you have to pay mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur so mm. um i am not confident what kamala is offering i do know she's offering the six thousand dollar tax credit but um that's the only tax credit i yeah, know, you know uh, yeah. i have not heard any tax credits from um donald trump, trump. Mm -mm, okay. I, I have well not. conservatives typically focus more on the one percent <laughs> Which does not work for anybody in this room. Right. Oh, so yes, yeah, so they can I mean, uh, right. I would say, I mean, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. One percent I mean, it depends on what you mean. Because some people are like, oh, what's the top five percent? What's the top ten percent? But conservatives are infamously trying to make the rich richer. That has never changed. Kamala did say something about the about the billionaires being taxed, like, um, I guess more okay. because they're not yeah, right. right. So but if you're a billionaire, continue. you want them to tax you more. But that's so because say they no. know the right. laws <laughs> and they take, use the laws to their advantage. Yeah. And it's because most people lack knowledge and wisdom about how to really handle their finances and their taxes and things like that, which so is that, why we that's suffer. taking advantage, though. Right. right. So if you're in the one percent, your thing is, well, it works for me. I figured it out. Right. Screw the ninety nine percent. Right. And then there's always a you know ninety nine percent that's like, oh. I think that sounds cool. It actually goes against everything that works in your own personal life. Mm. Yeah, like why should someone that's making, you know, one hundred and five thousand have the same taxes as someone that's making one point two billion? You Nuts. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, we all know that. And they claim that you know they yes. created so many jobs. There are a lot of people that do not create nearly as many jobs as small <laughs> business owners. That's very true. <laughs> And, and we had to come up with the most money, I be feeling like. Yes, like we all know that 100000 is not know, the same You know, you already 000, making a certain amount, but then you got to pay all these people because you got to have systems in place. Let's yeah. keep it honest. Yeah, keep it real. One thing I know as an entrepreneur and training other entrepreneurs in entrepreneurship mm -hmm. is you have to have systems in it's place. True. If you don't have those systems in place, I'm telling you, you're going to see your business. Like, sometimes it's going to be all it over the be, place. Yeah, it's going to be up and down, up and down. But when you got the systems in place of course you may still have up and down moments but you'll be able to have more clarity as right. to where you're going and what you can do better just based on looking at your metrics of what you you know what you did last month or the month before you know things of that nature so i think that's it that's enough for our hot topics anything else y'all want to share on hot topics in regards to credit tax life insurance real estate or entrepreneurship um i want to hit um, uh, briefly on capital gains. So what exactly is capital gains? So capital gains, let's just say, for example, you bought your property at 615, right? Yeah. So if she first purchased at 210, let's just say she bought and sold, let's say she closed at 210 and now 
she, she profited six ten. So that's you know a four hundred thousand dollar profit, right? right. So so sexy. Right. I'm, I'm just saying, like if <laughs> if it happened that way, I am that not saying right, that right, that's right. how it happened. Right, right, I'm just right. saying what she sold and purchased as. So the capital gains tax is up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars if you are not if you are a non married couple. So if it's okay. it's, it's two fifty for the wife and what's well, up to. Like, up to two fifty. Let's be clear. Yes, up to up, it's up to right. two fifty <laughs> for the wife. Right. Yes. Two fifty up to two fifty for the husband. So you have to. So you're not taxed. You know, yes. on all your four hundred thousand dollars, like up to two fifty. Now after that, then I don't know what the tax is, okay. but you still be taxed. But also. Um, what you but can share do. with them what capital gains are because I don't, I don't feel like a lot of people really know. So I, I just explained. So okay. what capital gains is is a capital gains honestly is is what your what your profit is. You're not taxed on all of your profit up to two fifty. Yeah. So, but what you could do is within like a hundred and eighty days, if you buy like a like kind property within a hundred and eighty days, then you also save more money. So okay. that's the best way to do it if you do make over and in profit, guys, up to two fifty. Then you just if if you bought a four, if you bought a four family, yes, and you close with a profit over two fifty. So that you know maybe you want to invest as much like more than that twenty percent into another yes. four family. So you're not all so so you're not all taxed on all of your profit. Mm, that makes a lot of sense. So how y'all feel about that, right? Informative. That is so good right. to know. Yeah, but right. also, please, just a disclaimer, please consult with your accountant. Yes, absolutely. Um, these are just um, experiences that I have. <laughs> right, right. Because people will quote you verbatim. Yeah, and it's like, you know, it's, it's situational, but definitely yes. um, consult with no, your God. <laughs> they do. Right. <laughs> you know, the scary part is they actually believe it in and say it's law. Yeah. Yes. Right. Like, it's just insane. So but you realize to... the difference between that level and then the billionaires. That's I mean, true. We, we, we can't be mad. You have to research. That, we can't be mad that they know it. And that, that they, they know, know it, right. And they're, Absolutely. That's, and, they're, and they're not sharing it with you. We can't. Right. How can we be mad? Why? But guess what? That? How but can we share it with y'all? I mean, I have a bunch of billionaire friends that share share the information. But the but problem is y'all so scared. that Y'all people so scared to take right. action. Y'all scared mm -hmm. to do something that you've never done before. And you're only right. doing the same behavior, repeating the learned behavior from your family, from your mother, your father. Father, your sister, your brother, your uncle, your religious institutions, your education systems, but they have not educated you enough because they did not want you to know. But once you know, now you become more in control of things. And the whole yep. purpose of our world, unfortunately, is for them to control us. So when we gain control of ourselves, shit get different. Right, you know right because but are they controlling us or are we allowing it? We are allowing it because yes. we, uh, a lot of people we, lack we, the wisdom. We always yeah. say the, the them, the they, the right, how, pointing the, us, the fingers. The yeah. I mean, yeah, we're they, not going to say it's not a, a little harder for us because there, yeah. right. there are certain things that will be blocked um, absolutely, you know, just absolutely. because yeah, yeah. <laughs> they will true. redline your ass out of a neighborhood. So it does still happen. That's very true, very true. So, listen, guys, thank y'all so much for, for sharing y'all hot topics. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> I hope that gave everybody some 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 information, you know, that you could that you could use and some things that you could look out for. But let's go ahead and get into our panel discussion. So we gonna go around the table and each one. I think I, I think each one of them have kind of given you a little hint already <laughs> of what that what they do. But let's go around the table. Let's start with Madison to my left and share with them what you do. And sure. uh, I also want to know, you know, I'm sure everybody else wants to know what made you get into real estate to begin with. Sure. So first I want to say, Kia, thanks for having me. Yes. I've known Kia for almost so 25 years. Yes. Next year will be 25 years. Like back in the day, she's like, do my hair. Yes. <laughs> and she's, you know, yes, she's just like, yeah. like, like, like a big sister to yes. me. So she you know, took me on my wing, showed me like, you know, we outside, really? like, just like yes. this, like, like that. Right. Yes. So, you know, I was, was young. So yes. thank you for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Madison Frazier. Everyone calls me Miss Madison. Madison Realty. Um, I currently possess a master's degree in the field of teaching, a BA in marketing. 
Um, I spent about 12 years in the field of education and, and administration. Mm, okay. And I worked for one of the largest preschool agencies um, in Newark. And they lost their grant. So if they lost their grant, I quite naturally lost my job. Mm. <laughs> Why? I, I lost I my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can relate. So <laughs> I said, well, you know what? Because that happened with, uh, back in my days when I was doing HR, human resources for 1Ks, pensions. I've always been in this type of industry for whatever reason. But when they lost their contract, then it was like, okay, I was out of a job. But it was the best well, thing ever. Congratulations. Yeah, for exactly. Real. Yeah. Right. You yes. took lemons and made lemonade. Right. Yes. <laughs> it was the best thing that could have ever happened for me. When I tell you, I was contemplating like leaving this job anyway. Yes. Right, right. I'm like, because people was in it? my ear about the stability. Oh my God, you work for Xerox and you work for American Express and that's like a company and wah, 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 And American ones. Express right. pulled their contract out. But I tell y'all, I was celebrating like, oh shit, thank you, God. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Do it? Right. Wait. So they don't have Xerox no more? I, no. Really? Yes, they, they 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 Xerox still exists, but some of the companies that were contracted through okay. them broke their contracts because they felt I guess they found somebody cheaper to handle their right. pensions and four one Ks and all that HR stuff, whatever. Mm. Which respectfully I get it. But I swear they was trying to put me in another department and I was like, nah. <laughs> I'm good. And, and then that's when I end up going to entrepreneurship school, to Mitchell School of Business. I end up becoming the uh, dean of education. So y'all went from okay. student Hello? to the dean of education. Okay. And that's the best way. <laughs> Inside. Okay. That's yeah. the best way. Yes. And then, and then let's add that I went to Cornell University for entrepreneurship. You feel me? Come on. Nice. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> Are they with the Cornell? Yes. Child. <laughs> so look, you know that that's what it's about, though taking those lemons and turning it into lemonade. But mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to snatch your snatch No, your juice. no. Oh, ahead, you was you was relating. <laughs> you was relating. So once they pulled that contract, I said, "Well, you know what? I'm a open up my own school. I pretty much had the credential." Um, so as I'm looking for space, I was I felt very like this discriminated against meaning like like the realtors i were running into they weren't very supportive they weren't very informative Mm. i'm not sure did they think i was young like too young did they think i didn't have any liquid i don't know what their problem was so i said well if they sometimes it could have been because you're a pretty (laughs) dark-skinned girl am i right because sometimes when you when you you know our complexion and you look a little more elegant sometimes than they do. They have an instant judgment of you. The same thing that happens though with light skinned women. Not no no offense, Tatisha. But you hear, <laughs> but you hear people all the time like I'm telling you, them light skinned people. They <laughs> blah, 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 blah. but each person is an individual. I don't think the Amen. color of your skin has anything to do with who you are as a person. However, people do judge you. They do, and I felt very like discriminated against. So I said, you know what? If they're treating me like this, how many other people? How many other people mm-hmm. in my community are they? But they're not treating you like that. They're treating themselves Sells that way. way. Ooh, it's I so like true. That. Yes. I never yes. Mean, thought about it like that. You, you have, yep. Well, thanks, thanks for the mindset tip. You yes, know? Mindset, mindset tip. tip. Yes. Boop. boop, clap. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> boop, clap. Yes, boop, yes. Boop. I would say this was a turn it up. Hey, turn it up. Yes, that was good. So after that, that's when I said, you know what, let me go to real estate school. And after obtaining my license seven years later, I just opened my firm last year. So we're celebrating one year. One year. Nice. Congratulations. Yes. I've been watching you for a minute doing the whole real estate thing. And it's been more than a year that you've been doing real estate. No, no. It's been a year since I opened my own firm. Since you opened your own firm. Mm -hmm. Come, 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 come. Clap it up, man. <laughs> yeah, that's big. You know, yeah. a lot of women, a lot of 
African American women um, are afraid to challenge themselves to do something that big. It's like, man, yeah, I want to get into an industry, but I don't think I'm good enough. I don't think I have the mm-hmm. right connections. I don't have, and that's where I come in at with the mindset thing. Like, what you think about, you bring about. So if you believe you don't have the right absolutely. connections, you're absolutely correct. You're never going to have the right connections. Right. And if you believe that this business can't work out for you, you're right. It's not going to work right. out for you because Very that's true. what you believe. Right? Very true. Yeah. Hey, y'all ain't so long. Yes. <laughs> I was, I was like, wait. Right. Down. Anyone come? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's my birthday. Make sure y'all put a happy birthday in the comments, man. We loving y'all. We loving y'all so much. So let's move over to Atia. Tia, tell us what you do and why life insurance. Okay. Well, my name's Atia Bell. Okay, I actually originally started as a stockbroker. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we got to talk about that because she was on Wall Tasty. Street, y'all. Tasty. So I got Tasty. on, I started, um, I became a stockbroker on Wall Street at 21 years old. Wow. Okay. So I did it for a couple years, went through the recession, okay, yes. came through the recession, but I just realized the instability of that particular market. You know, mm. it's a lot of, one, I wasn't able to help a lot of us because a lot of us couldn't I really see. afford it in a way yeah. that it would have any type of longevity value, right. right? So, you know, I left that industry and now, you know, I decided to focus on life insurance. So I've been doing life insurance for seven years. Um, originally, I worked for a very large company that everybody knows, but I won't name. Yes. Um, I was their number one. <laughs> I won't name it, okay? <laughs> Used to work there, so we're not plugging Drop anybody else. Drop a cool vibe on that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. Somebody> that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're not going to do that. Right. But um, for that very large company, I was the number one agent in the state of New Jersey out of four offices, back-to-back three years. Okay. Oh, right? Man, so so after me lot. becoming 100% yes. referral-based business, meaning I'm Amen. bringing in all of this business to the company, I really had to ask myself, why am I giving this business to someone else's company rather than starting my own? Mm. Okay. Talk about it. Right. So um, it went from me being the top agent with this company to me then being outsourced. A lot of people may know um, different agencies and brokerage firms that I've trained lots of brokers. Last year, I trained like 750 people wow. um, through okay. contracts. Ooh, yes. So Come I trained, I trained yes. lots and lots of people you know, that are decided they want to get into the industry, and they're basically looking for sales advice things like that I am called quote unquote the referral queen okay. um, because I all of my business comes to me right I don't have to pay for leads I don't pay for recruiters I don't do anything like that um, so two years ago I decided to start my own brokerage agency mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so I have a brokerage agency in this building the academy building on the seventh floor yes. um, where I specialize in life insurance I have in my downline over a hundred brokers nationwide mm-hmm. um, that are in my downline we specialize in every state in the country Country. Yes. Uh, we do a whole life, term life, IULs, annuities. Um, and for the most part, you know, I just want people to understand if you take nothing away from anything else that I say, the most important thing is that you're supposed to get life insurance on your children for a week after birth, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody knows that. Um, you know, you have car insurance for if you get into an accident. You have health insurance for if you get sick. But the one thing that's the only guarantee on earth is that you're going to die one day, right? Mm-hmm. So when you do, the question is, do you want to leave a legacy behind? And no, a legacy is not in your DNA. So I have so many people that are like, my legacy is my children. No, they are not. Look up the definition. I'm sorry to tell you, your legacy is what you leave behind. Right. right? Absolutely. So well, my goal is... Clear it up for me. Right. I'm just yeah. saying. I'm clear it up. So, you know, term policies are for, you know, temporary things that you need. Let's say mortgages, you get a lot mm-hmm. more coverage. You're paying a lot less. So you want to cover your mortgage. Let's say you want to take care of your kids. You get a term policy um, because it's a lot cheaper, right? If that's your budget, that's your budget. Um, I do have some options where you can get your cash back at the end of term. That's great. Um, and then whole life, which is the only one other one I want to focus on here, is it's a permanent option. Meaning, when you get that policy and you're approved, that price never goes up. You start to build cash value, which you can borrow from. You get about 5% interest a year. And most carriers will actually give you dividends as well. So you right. are able to take part in the profit of that company every single year. So um, most people know agents, meaning your cousin might have wrote you up XYZ however long ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but most of the time, you're dealing with an agent who is working for one company, which means they're only interest is to get you to work with that company. That company. So if there are other companies out there, they are not allowed to even tell you. Wow. I, as a broker, am contracted with well over 50 carriers. I have access to 50 carriers. I can pick up any car- contract that I need to. Um, I have carriers such as AIG, Mutual of Omaha, Aetna, Aflac, you know, 
all of the top brands, John Hancock, Gerber, anyone that you can think of. Mm. And I am able to cover anyone under the age of 80. So most of the times where you hear, oh, this person is declined because they have cancer or they right. have AIDS or right. they had a stroke last week or they have Alzheimer's or they're a child mm -hmm. with autism um, or there's someone who has schizophrenia or someone with substance abuse, alcoholism, or even currently in prison, I can insure anyone. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So there is no such thing as a decline with me. There will always be a carrier for anyone under the age of 80, and I can cover up to 89. That's just from 80 to 89. Can't have any crazy issues. But if you're under 80, even if you're sitting in prison or you have a health issue, um, I have lots of carriers that approve same day. Yes. And, you know, my goal is just to help our community get past this myth that life insurance is something you're supposed to wait to get. No, we're actually already behind. Right. Because yeah. if you get life insurance based on age and health, the best time to get it is when you're young. Mm -hmm. And last thing I want to say is most people don't get life insurance because they believe the myth of the placebo. I have life insurance through my job. Okay? And, and when you, you die, say that, you realize. that makes no sense. Okay? The reason why is because that's called a group term policy, which mm -hmm. means they have a policy on you. Mm -hmm. You have to die while working there for it to go into effect. When you retire, you typically lose all mm -hmm. or at least up to 50% of it. Yes. So I have a lot of people who are senior citizens, people who worked for, you know, they were teachers, police officers, government officials, even the military will drop your coverage by 50% the day you retire. So do you need life insurance? Yes. Should you call me? Yes. Right. That part. <laughs> and how can they call you? <laughs> well, my phone number is 201-407-6253. Again, that's 201-407-6253. I have an office at 17 Academy Street, which is this building, 7th Floor Suite 705. Or you can visit my website, which is insuremet.net. Yes. That's I-N-S-U-R-E-M-E. T like Thomas, E E dot net. So, okay. you know, reach out to me and I give you a free quote, free consultation. It costs nothing for you to find out where you stand. Where you stand and yes. you have 30 days to pay. So most of the time it's find out if you can get approved for what you want first. Okay. Okay? Well, definitely. We got, yes. we got more yes. questions coming yes. for you. But, but this was just our Just trying to put it, put it all table, in a little right? knapsack for you. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so all right. My, my infamous, yes. my infamous high and bougie. Yes. Glamour and grit. Tatisha, y'all clap it up for Tatisha. Y'all clap it up for Tatisha. Tatisha, y'all still know me for a long time. She gonna share her story of how long she know me too. But yeah, <laughs> talk to me about who you are and. I, your story is 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 a slightly different because you're not only just an entrepreneur, but you also manage having your own business while working for someone else's company at mm -hmm. the same time, which could be very challenging. I know. Very. Um, let's talk. <laughs> let's talk about that. But we'll get into that later. But tell them who you are and uh, why entrepreneurship. Why did you choose the what you chose? Because uh, you know. You got a lot of different businesses. I don't really know, really know where my brain where to start, but <laughs> I don't know about. where to start either. Um, <laughs> I'm Tatisha Nichols. Um, yes, I work for a major company. I guess I won't say no names. Yeah, no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Speaking of retirement, um, I just hit 25 years. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you very awesome. much. So I'm retiring. Um, but the journey was, it, it was, it was very different for me. Um, I grew up as, I guess I'm a little older than everybody else. <laughs> it don't I grew up in a world where you get a job, you retire from the you job. You stay there. Right. You stay there, Absolutely. you retire, you get your benefits, and that's that. Um, right. Got to the job early. Um, and I think I've gotten, since I've been there, a bartending license, um, a, a fireman's black seal license, which oh, is wow. a boiler license, a massage mm -hmm. license, just so many different things. Yes. I've ventured into um, event planning, just a lot of different things on the side because the job just doesn't make enough right. yeah. for me. Um, I knew a lot of entrepreneurs, right? And for some reason, I could not understand my hairstylist, <laughs> how he could just go. Wherever every, he wanted yeah, to go, just, right, right. He would just, you know, you, you made your money and you opened, you closed, you did what you wanted to do, you didn't get a paycheck every week or every two weeks. So it just seemed like, how you going on? Because I had kids, I had a family, and right. they was just living the carefree yeah. life. Um, entrepreneurship really started more towards a pandemic. 
right? Mm-hmm. So um, I'm one of the people that have an idea for everything. So if you tell me <laughs> what you can do, I can make it into a business, yes. right? Mm-hmm. Anything, whatever mm-hmm. it is. Girl, what? You do massage for pets, you can do a pet massage, mm-hmm. right? Yes. You can get a whole thing. I got <laughs> you with a pet whole massage pet spa. <laughs> what? Yes, a girl. Yeah, that's spa. me too. That's me yes. too. You tell me what now, you can do and I'll I did all it. that. The one the thing I want to credit to is to my husband. Right, yes. my husband is the person that says, "What you want to do that? That sounds good. Let's rock do it." Right. Yeah. That's, right, that's right. important. So, so important. High and bougie. Um, with I that, that when I met my husband, <laughs> um, I started smoking weed. Right. right. So of course, <laughs> my mother said, "Who's in their forties and they start smoking weed?" <laughs> I was. It was it was prescribed <laughs> to me. Right. So I started smoking weed, but when I met him, um, he travels a lot, so he actually gave me a lot of weed. And was like, here, here you go, I'll be back. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm supposed what? to just do it. Right like, now, I can't, you? I'm not going to just smoke it, but I thought like, of everybody that I smoked with, Ooh. right? I had to look up, okay, an eighth, get an eighth bag. One of my tenants at the time owns a paraphernalia uh, mm. store, right? So I had to go in and ask him the eighth bags of this, that, and that. Right. And, um... Started working and started selling at work in a corporate office. Wow! Right? So in a corporate office, we could. Did, we could I'm so and, glad you and, didn't and say the name of the company. No, no, right, 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 absolutely. Not, right? And, and this was after it became legal. Right. I'm going to throw that disclaimer in. Right. I said after the pandemic. Right. After it's legal. Right. Yes. And everybody had a card. Yeah, yes. right. Now nobody needs a card. No. Really? Yeah, no. No, everybody was like, what? You could go into no any card? dispensary with, a, with an yeah, ID. Yeah, I couldn't believe oh, it. Oh, yeah, now, right now, yeah, yeah. you don't even need But that's, that's, that's pretty much, um, I actually, like I said, it was prescribed to me. Um, mm-hmm. However, I was having some other issues. So my um, stomach doctor, I'm going to say it. I'm not going to say his name because he was like, don't you tell nobody. Right. But he <laughs> said, I'd rather you not smoke it. I'd rather you eat it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. So now, during the pandemic, all I had time was to find make out edibles. how to right, make edibles. How do you make edibles? How do you make butter? How do you make olive oil? How do you make tea? And it takes time to get all that right things. from what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. Take, girl. So they have so many different ways, but a lot of different things. And that's pretty much, um, like I said, once I said, all right, this is an idea, it just started flowing. Mm. And high and bougie. Now we're actually catering. So we cater um, infused cannabis items. So deviled eggs. We do actually a bougie cocktail hour. Mm. So if you're having an event and you want us to come through, we actually do your cocktail hour with all infused appetizers. And make sure you tell everybody how to contact you. Oh, no, no, we're going to definitely get to that. Cause I'm going to share you because I have lots of clients that might need you. But, yes, well, I mean, shit, so you didn't say, say it. You can just go ahead and say it since a tear and already. Look, well, <laughs> on Instagram, she's saying I'm, I'm like, I'm going to make sure I have the information. High and underscore bougie. So high and underscore bougie. High and. High Not end. high end. No. Right. High, high end. end. Because A-D. I'm high A-D. and I'm boozy. And I'm boozy. Right. <laughs> I love it. Right? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love your branding for it, man. You, you, yes, you're you, definitely. Even the creative. way she came in and set it up, I already know that if I ever knew someone looking for services, you she proved that in just, just like that. Two seconds. Hey, the way she came in and set everything up so professionally, man, it looks beautiful. Right. Very nice. And she did that as a just like, why not? So, <laughs> yes, this is clearly Thank what you, you do Thank very you. well. Thank Absolutely. And, and, and let's not forget her, her, her company, Grits and Glamour. Grits and Glamour. Oh my God. The names. I just love yeah, the, the names. names. You tell me about it, right? Oh my God. But, 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 uh, uh, go ahead. Tell them about Grits and Glamour. Grits and Glamour. Say. Now, Grits and Glamour is very different from High and Bougie. Grits and Glamour is a family restaurant. So we do brunch. Grits and Glamour is, um, it's, it's like a... We do, crazy, we do shrimp and grits, we do fried fish, we do uh, grit cakes, just, it's, we do shrimp and grits. And you're on DoorDash and Grubhub? DoorDash and Grubhub. You Hub. are kidding me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Lord, I don't know why you just told me yes. that. <laughs> My personal <laughs> sister just told me to cut out the DoorDash, and I'm like, Jesus. No. <laughs> 
we do shrimp and grit empanadas. We do smothered chicken over grits. We do broccoli cheddar cheese. We have vegan uh, specials. We do a lot of different things. So grits yes. and glamour, definitely. All I know I is I had a couple Thank different kinds that she made, man. And look, I used to, before I moved to Atlanta, I used to be at her, her little door, uh, you know, on her phone, like, you cook yeah. it today? I'm cooking today. <laughs> so you like to cook? It's, it's just what you like to do. Um, it's it's what I can do. Okay. So that that's also same thing with grits and glamour. Um, another thing with my husband, he wanted to open up. He's he was in the restaurant business. Okay. Yes. Um, so he's you know he was into all of that, and him uh, it was a bunch of them. Uh, Akinelli, all of them. They had a restaurant down in Miami, and I remember he would always fuss because they had so much stuff on the mm. menu. Mm-hmm. It was like, you just got too much stuff for that right. little yeah. picture, right? So when he would say that, he would also say, babe, you can really cook. Why don't you open a restaurant? And all I could think about was for him, a soul food. I'm not cooking no mac and cheese and collard greens <laughs> and every day. Right. Like, I'm not doing that. So right. it came make about. Make it more simple. Yeah, let, you know what? I said, as a joke, I'm going to make grits. Taste this. And he was like, what? Yeah, everybody yeah. wants these grits. How are we going to do this? Now, that's so, an amazing husband to have. Yeah, I, I love your husband. He's amazing. He's such a support. You're a very good support Such a support. Sister. He'd be like, what? You can do that, man? Yes, that's you. Yeah, we yeah, can <laughs> you. I love My that. husband, so we also have Nikki's Fish Joint. My husband mm-hmm. is Nikki, right? Yes. <laughs> Nikki's Fish Joint. Now, we do fried fish. So it's, um, and we also do flavored fried fish, right? Okay. That's, that's the niche. So we have um, buffalo fried fish. We have. Um, I have never heard of anything flavored. Fish. Man. Wow. <laughs> She's going crazy over here, Zay. Zay, we gotta go. Zay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Um, so we do all of that. So my husband is such a hustler. He don't eat seafood. Not because he's allergic. But he just. But he just he thinks that's nasty that they live in the water. He don't want to. He don't. Wanna, <laughs> yeah. but that's Nikki. Nikki's fine. Hey, Curtis. <laughs> what can you do? So this that's that's entrepreneurship. Now, now let me tell you, it. can I say something? I, why I love this. I, I love this a whole lot because a lot of entrepreneurs that I help with mindset coaching and business setup and things like that. Um, Tatisha says something that really just made me want to speak this and say this because I say this so often and I had one of my high level coaches that I was paying over $6,000 to tell tell Mm. this to me. You have to think about what is going to make you money and make you money quickly over choosing something that is going to take you like it may be your diehard dream hey listen i really want to yeah. do hair right. i really want to do it but guess what that's not working for you right. Right. right that's not working for you so guess what what can you do right now you gotta because y'all gotta think about your skills and the talents yeah. that you have right now that you could put to use tatisha just was like look i'm gonna make grits now she has a whole company grits yes. and glamour her, her dude gave her some pounds of, of, of weed or green you know what i mean and what did she do she started infusing the food is that her thing is that what she woke up and said you know one day i'm gonna be a weed maker okay. right. no but it's what you can do to make your money and y'all have to stop being so stuck sometimes on just one purpose because there's a way there's multiple ways for you to generate income in a business i'm not going to say your business but in a business choose a thing that you know people want people always want to eat always I want to eat right now i can't wait for us to get up out of here so I can <laughs> Yeah. And people, as as the T said earlier, people are always gonna die, unfortunately. But guess what? That's a business that that's always going to be needed. People that's, always that's need the it. only real transgenerational wealth, which is the fastest it and cheapest way. People talk about the market, and wealth. you can say oh everything you want to say, but yes. the only thing that is fixed. It's life insurance. That's true. You get a half a million dollar, a million dollar policy, and you never miss a payment. I'm telling you that payment gonna pay out with no taxes. Mm -hmm. You put that that money, that same money in the market, and I'm telling you because I worked on Wall Street. Yes. I watched people lose hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars in minutes. 
Right. Yeah. That's in real. minutes. That's real. Minutes. That's so, real. Yeah. That's keep real. That, keep that. Keep that in mind, guys. Uh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. And uh, as I said, somebody gonna always, always need a place to live. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So real estate isn't going anywhere. So we gotta think <clears> about those things. For me, I do a whole bunch of things. I know everybody wanna look cute. So man, look, y'all know I got a whole list. I'm, I'm probably worse than Tatisha, but <laughs> but I have a whole lot of talents. I don't know if y'all seen my recent video. I actually laid down the floor. I put a whole wood floor, floor inside of the hair room inside my house. The one that's in Jersey. And everybody was like, you did that? I was like, well, I didn't know that I could do it. I just put it in my mind. It was like, today... I'm about to do this floor. I'm not okay. waiting for this construction. I'm right. tired of these contractors. Right. Yeah, they not showing up on time or they start the job, but they not finishing the job. I'm about to just get on my knees and I'm about to do this floor. And I did it. I did it in almost a, about an hour, y'all, literally. And well, you want to know something? It pissed me off because I think about how these people you thought it was going to right month. Yeah. Yeah. And I just sat and just did this room in like yeah. an hour and 10 minutes. So I got upset. Like, ooh. <laughs> I ain't going to tell y'all what I said. But yeah, I was. But little, mindset, I, because we're not tough. upset. we happy that you look what I did. Look what I did. And how yep. I could do it for somebody else. And I would say exactly. that's another thing for, for entrepreneurship. Look, Utilize women what you have. Literally. But That's use what, what you have. Use what you know. Sell what you know. Make money off of what yes. you already have. Don't yes. go and try to get something and now I'm going to do this. Try to use your it. money. Again, real estate. Same thing. We bought a house, garage in the backyard. Turned it into a whole Airbnb. Airbnb. A whole venue. And we saw it a last whole, night. Venue. And yes. It's beautiful. A whole venue. You would need to see it live. It's but gorgeous. A venue. Yes. We don't now. Now, I got a venue back here, which is still included in the mortgage. Right. I don't have to pay for it. Now the venue now the venue, which is called the house lounge, pay me rent. <laughs> pay you rent. That part. So now I'm paying myself rent. That yeah. part. That Yes. You, yeah. you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you got to use a serial what you have. For sure. You use Definitely. what you got to make the money with what you have. If it's something mm. that you know you like or something that comes to you all the time, yes. why not put it into work and make money off of that? Exactly. You don't need to go look for something. Oh, you need. I got to look for a spot to rent. Why? When you got an extra room right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell y'all, I used to have a kid, Tatisha's a witness. I had a 1,300 square feet hair salon yeah. in South Orange. Um, the ceiling fell, and I had a choice to either sue mm. or get it fixed, right? You sued. You're right. <laughs> and so what I also did was, in the meantime, between time before I opened up my next big hair salon after that, I put a mini hair salon inside my house. Right. And do y'all know that my clients did not want to go back to the shop? Of course not. They did not right. want to go back to the I prefer to go to my house, too. I don't know right. why it's more comfortable. They were just it's like, personal. yo, your house, the right. energy here is just so loving and so warm. Like, I'll pay you extra for you to do my hair in the house. Right. And guess what? It made me a lot of money because of people who have alopecia. You don't really want to be seen with your hair looking right. messy. And you know, yeah. that type of stuff or whatever. Yeah. And it gave people the confidence that they could have that one-on-one time with me at the same time while right. getting their hair done and stuff or whatever. So it worked out for me, okay? Right. You know what I'm saying? Things well, always have, work out for I me. have a good point that I'm sure Madison. She can, Madison can actually agree with as well. Um, you made a good point. You did too. You guys said, you know, utilize the resources that you currently have. Yes. What worked for us, which I'm assuming definitely worked for you, <laughs> for the longest time, like I said, I was the top agent at the company, right? Yes. That's me. Right. 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 In the field every day. Yes. Right. Every day. Right? So I just told you guys that this month I went to Costa Rica. I went to Atlanta. Right. I right. went to Aruba and then I went to Houston. Right? So before I would have to bust my ass to make ten grand in a month. Yes. Whereas now twenty grand a month is like water to me and I don't even have to work. Why? Because I have brokers that I trained myself that I have the resources for. I have a two person back office team. I have a personal assistant and a business partner. Right. Right? So I have all of these resources in place. Whereas that Mm -hmm. even though I'm not physically Mm -hmm. working, even you know I train a lot of people. Right. I train a lot of people. I still do my classes sometimes Tuesdays and Thursdays. But even if I'm on vacation and I decide not to, I could have one broker write busy and I won't go into numbers. Right. Right. But I could have one broker who just decided to write business today, and I might not have spoken to them in a month. Absolutely. I'm going to get a certain percentage. Why? Because they're in my agency, as well as the simple fact that I trained them. So it might have took me a month 
two months, three months to train them. For the next 20 years that they're in my agency, I'm getting paid. Absolutely. Amen. And it works for them because I'm giving them every single thing I got. I'm going yes, to train everything. you from the rooter to the tutor. I'm going to show you exactly how to make money. Yes. And you can run with it if you got it in you. But remember, I tell people, if you have a hard time working for other people, it'll be even harder working for yourself. you got to have yes. discipline. A lot of they, well, they said uh, good evening to the queens in the house. Yes. Uh, happy birthday to TK Diamond. Wishing you many hey. more wonderful hey, years Curtis. to come. Filled with nothing but happiness and joy, love, and laughter in your life. And then they said amen. He said amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, glory. we gonna um because we only we only here till eight thirty. We just oh we could. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're so we going to ride, ride this out. We got a few more questions because the ladies, I know you guys are having a good time. I can see it in the comments, and I see y'all over here. And they here. can put questions in the comments. Like, yes, guys, any. yes, leave your questions in the comments, okay? So let's um, let's get into a couple of questions that we had since we, we should be ready to do our panel. Now, y'all ready to do our panel? Because, you know, we've been discussing some things along the way. We've been dropping some gems on y'all in the meantime. But let's get into some of the questions for my panelists today. So I know this is a little hammer. See, everybody about to start calling me because I told them to be here at 8 o'clock. And so uh -huh. now my phone is ringing out there. And there's nothing I can do about it. Um, Dang! <laughs> you want to send her a text? Uh, yeah, I need somebody. Okay. Somebody need to go downstairs and, and open up the door or whatever. But oh, hold on. I, I'm, I got to take this live, y'all. Sorry. A little sis, you outside? You outside? I'm, 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 oh my God, you sound like you started the party without us. We still live. Come on upstairs. See if, um, you come up, come up. The security guard is gone. Somebody has to let um, me. I gotta park. Huh? She has to park. I'm parking. Oh, all right. Well, call me back. Oh, no, no. Don't call me back. Call Zay and tell Zay to come open up the door for you. All right. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I didn't do that. I'm my little sister. All right, so let's get into let's get into some questions. Let's get into some questions. All right, so let's start with real estate, of course. You know, so Madison, what are the current trends in real in the real estate market that buyers and investors should actually know about? Well, I want to first say there are there is like a wealth of misinformation mm. on social media. And it becomes exhausting no, because we're constantly no, 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 no. we're constantly like deprogramming people. It's like what someone may be able to do in Georgia, they will not be able to do in New Jersey. That's very the contracts true. are different. The laws are different. It's two different entities. So I hate when I hear, well, I heard that you can do this yep. in there. And I said, and you definitely probably can. But in New Jersey, we operate a little bit more differently. And that's okay. It doesn't make what they're doing incorrectly. Yes. It's just what is allowed in that state. Right. So that is the first thing. Um, and I just I just feel like whatever social media says, the the majority goes with it, so to speak. I don't want to say minorities, but minorities. Whatever, yeah. whatever we, we are hear. The most because we, we yes. hear somebody say something and then people repeat. It's Bible. Take care of it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, where did, did you? you that from? Yeah, that's true. Is the person true. you heard this from? Are they a licensed professional? Right, right. <laughs> right. I'm serious because and you hold them to a certain yes. standard. Yes, mm -hmm. as a licensed professional, we have we 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 stand to a code of ethics, right? Yes. So if I I'm not going to say misinform me, but if I do you wrong, like intentionally, my license is it's shot. done. Yeah. Right. So I just want us as a community to really um, don't be afraid to ask licensed professionals Your first. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a trend because I'm constantly deprogramming folks. Wow. Um, so the trend now, so maybe the past year and a half they've been saying you know prices are too high right and rates are too high but again so is rent rent has went up 30 percent so the average two bedroom the average three bedroom now like is 2500 or luxury three grand well yeah. that's your average mortgage now yeah so 
yesterday I saw something on Instagram that told the public to buy a house. So I'm just waiting for, like, my phone. <laughs> because whatever, you know, social media says, That's they, what they do. do. Yeah. So... But that is the new trend, a lot of um, a lot of hearsay. But rates did uh, come down. But just think, guys, when if the rates do go, like, into the fives, all that's going to do is bring out more buyers, more yep. demand, and you're going to be paying even more. Right. Yes. So you have to um, act while you can. Act while you can. You have to have a consultation and see what. <laughs> they are afraid to have a free consultation. That's right. crazy, you know, but they really are. I'm serious. I said, honestly, out of nine out of ten home buying consultations that I conduct, um, probably one person maybe yeah. want to buy. Right. But, no, no, nine out of ten people do not buy. So, right, so one. Right. one. But, so it's a mm -hmm. lot of information, and when they're ready to actually, you know, purchase, then they hopefully will come back. But a lot of them, they'd be afraid just to have a conversation. So the trend right now is that, that the rates are coming down, but they have to keep in mind that the cost of these homes are three times as more, so you may end up paying mm. actually more later than instead of now. Mm -hmm. And rent is going to, you know, just like taxes continue to climb Jeez, because if someone, <laughs> if someone just used in Tatisha as an example, yes. if you know, when she brought pre-pandemic, rent was different. Very you know, right? Pre-pandemic, a year ago, <laughs> right? Rent was yes, different. yes. And right. just to just to say something really quick, like you said, people believe what they believe. Everything. Right. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I I had to understand again mindset. Right. Yes. I'm I'm around at work in this corporate company. Mm -hmm. I'm around a lot of renters. So I hear a lot of complaints. Oh my God, what these landlords, right. they just going up, they being greedy and this. And that's right. like, sis, whoa, my taxes just went up 1200 Absolutely. Somebody right. gonna help me pay. Right, right. Somebody <laughs> gonna help me that pay. Part. So when, 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 <laughs> right. So when I purchased the house, right? When we purchased the house, the tenants that came in, came in at one rate for rent, mm -hmm. right? Those same tenants, Went, didn't want to pay, didn't want to go up 4% on their rent. The 4%? Following, they didn't want to go up the 4%, mm -hmm. which let's say at 2100 for a three-bedroom, two-bath, mm -hmm. right? 4% is like $84. Okay. And Wait till they but, get outside. But, but, but stepped outside. But <laughs> stepped outside. They, they probably they knocked on your door. Guess, guess what? Guess what? No, no, no. I was hurrying up. Punch them outside. Punch them outside. Because then you can because, get whatever rent you want. Yeah. Because guess what? This when I had the realtor come, she said, oh, no. This is brand new. Right. Mm. Right. This is brand new. Now you can get 3100 Right. Can. So a lot and will. of what we're right. listening and did. to is <laughs> and, and, and is. Woo! And did. And did. <laughs> <laughs> and wonderful, and wonderful tenants, wonderful tenants. They taking out garbage. They picking that they love them. Treating it as if it's their home. As if it was their home. I'm love a that. baby. I'm grits. I'm shrimp and gritting them. So <laughs> they moved in. First weekend they moved in. I said, Oh yeah, y'all so, so look, y'all so tired from just moving in. Take something for the whole family. That's now so how sweet. nice is what? that? Right. How love appreciative that. is that? What I seen them pulling out the garbage. Some um, wind had blew on, blew some trash onto the lawn. I seen them out there picking up. I said, Won't he do it? They really yeah. treat me yeah. like yeah. it's their yeah. home. That you want to have yes, that forever. Yes. No, we can go on with that story forever. No, but, it's true. But, but you're right. You're right. Everything yes. goes up. And if we're just listening to what somebody else said, because the drama that I went through, I could tell somebody else had said something to and me. Then right. And then you left them. For themselves. And then left them Like, in. what? They're going up on your rent? $84. When you go outside the same place that you're looking for, you're going to pay a 1000 more. Uh, yes, Definitely a 1000 more. Like, don't you think that someone you that You were paid... basically grandfathered in and you missed the opportunity. You missed the opportunity. Mm. But, yeah, but that's definitely, like you said, that's how it go. It's true. Like, listening to other people mm -hmm. who are not professionals. Well, I just want to piggyback on Tatisha just one second, because honestly, if someone you know closed at six ten, don't you think they are entitled to market rent? Like, right, it, right, it, they're entitled to market rent. So you have to give them you know thirty to forty five days to choose. But 
you know, if, if they want to stay or pay market rent. But just like you said, as soon as they began to went go on whichever website, right. I would have I would have came on back home because <laughs> right. True. I'm tripping over eighty four and I'm about to pay a whole thousand dollars more. Yeah. Doing the most. Doing the, <laughs> Doing most. the most. Well, let's get let's get into <laughs> our next question. Um let's see, let's see, let's see. In life insurance. What is first of all, why is life insurance important? Because a lot of people don't really understand the importance of it, you know. Because okay. if I see one more GoFundMe page, and whether you're page, young or healthy, you still should have life insurance. It doesn't matter expected. if you are healthy or not. The myth in the black community is, oh, I can't get life insurance. I have diabetes. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. I right. can't get life yeah. insurance. I just yeah. had a heart attack. Yeah. I can't get life insurance. I had cancer. People are lying to us in the community. Why? Because then you'll have more money to pass on to the next generation. You'll be enriching. Right. People that have not always been enriched. Okay? Right, right. That's the reality of the situation. So when it comes down to life insurance being important, it's important for several reasons. First of all, the average cost of a funeral in America is between ten and fifteen thousand. Yes. Most people would like to be buried within two weeks. Which means no life insurance. Not You're gonna what? Um, decide to go with a GoFundMe, which only ninety percent of the time that people put up a funeral fundraiser. 90% of the time, it's not funded. You already know that. You see those GoFundMe, it's like, we need 15000 and you'll look at it, it's like $600 raised. Right. Right? So I tell people, unless you have $15,000 under your mattress specifically for that purpose, which wouldn't really be smart in comparison to how little a $15,000 policy would be. Right. right. Because for any of y'all, a $15,000 whole life policy is like $20-something, $30. Right. right. So you're telling me you want to pay fifteen grand out of pocket? Rather than just paying a certain amount and you're getting some interest, you keep your money and do something else with that, maybe put it into a home or, you know, some type of something else. So life insurance is important to get as young as possible. Um, I I typically insure babies at seven days old. Wow. So once the baby's seven, why? Right? Right. If I give a baby an IUL. Okay. Right? Let's say I give a baby an IUL, which is index, an index universal life product. Now, I know everybody's heard about this. Be your own bank. That's, again, with the trends and stuff like that. The average adult cannot afford to fund the IUL the way that they need it to and the way mm. it's prescribed. Mm. They can't, right? So, typically, you're going to need to put in a couple hundred dollars if you're over 30, 40 years old for it to mm-hmm. make any difference, right? right. Yes. Um, but if you get an IUL for a child, okay, that same IUL that you may be paying 100 150 Maybe even two hundred if you're smart. Mm-hmm. You're like, I'm gonna put two hundred dollars a month aside for this IUL for my kid. Your kid is gonna have hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash value before they even fifty years old. Mm-hmm. Right. That is the projection. Right. right. Okay. So I tell people all the time. It's even put it this way: if I give a seventy year old a fifteen thousand dollar policy, that might be eighty ninety dollars a month. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Maybe even a hundred. If I give a baby a fifteen thousand dollar policy. Seven, eight, nine dollars. Right. They're locked in for life. They're building cash <laughs> value, interest, everything for life. So when they are older, they don't have to worry about, oh, you know, well, I can't afford to pay $100 on a fixed income. It's already yes. taken care of, right? So I just want everybody to keep in mind, life insurance is very important. There is no such thing as a decline. Um, next Thursday, I am going to be speaking with the re-entry convict program, mm. right? Because most convicts are told what? You can't get life insurance as a felon. Really? That is not I true. I never even heard of that That's before. Oh, yes. they get declined by mm. most carriers. Get out of here. If you have a felony or you're on probation within two years, you are getting declined at most major carriers. Mm. Wow. That is a fact. Okay? So, what do I do? I can insure them. I can give them guaranteed issue. I can make sure they're taken care of even if they're in prison. And then... Even um, Diddy? No, that's, that's powerful. Yes. Forgive me, Lord. I, I just had to put so that in powerful. there because he was doing bad stuff. No, forget, allegedly. Can, but on Wednesday, <laughs> on Wednesday, I'm going to be speaking with Lord. a substance abuse program. Okay. So on Thursday, I'm doing convicts. On, wow. two, on Wednesday, I'm doing substance abuse. Why? Because people are under the misconception that their father, who may suffer from substance abuse, Mm -hmm. can't get life insurance. Which means when he does die, that daughter is stressed out about how she's going to bury him. So what I do is I make sure that I let everybody know you have lots and lots of options. Um, The average, I want to say the average life insurance policy, average, is between twenty 
to sixty dollars a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So when people yeah. say, "Oh, I can't afford to get life insurance," I promise you, you can. Right. You can't the same amount it. you spend. You I tell people all the time, I love Canada Dry. Right. Right. You add up how many cans of Canada, Canada Dry. Dry you had, you had that's a thirty dollar a month you policy. Never lie. That's right? True, right. And that might be a thirty to fifty thousand dollar policy. Yeah. Also, keep in mind if you have a term policy and you're not getting anything back, most people have never heard this, so I'm going to enlighten you now. Yes. Most people know that when your term after twenty or thirty years it expires, it expires what? Worthless. Yes. You don't After use it, you lose money it. You put in so if you it, put yeah. in thirty six thousand dollars, say a hundred dollars a month, still living. thirty years, that's thirty six thousand dollars over thirty years. Right. That's going to light on fire on your birthday. Wow. Mm-hmm. But if you get a term policy like some of the ones that I'm able to provide, okay. And rather than that policy catching on fire, I can sign you up for getting fifty percent or a hundred percent back. So that 36000 will be returned on that 30th year. Wow. Now, a lot of people are like, how is that possible? What do you mean? I'm gonna, how does the company make money? Yes. Right? How do they make money? Because for the next 30 years, they're going to take your money and invest it in everything. That else. part, right. yes. Very true. Very, okay. very, 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 very Yes, true. they're going to make their money. So I advise everyone, are you going to pay a little bit more for these term policies? Of course. Yes. But again, do you want to lose eighteen to $36,000 on average? Right, no, you don't. And keep in mind, if you do have a term policy, this is important. I talk to everybody about it. They're like, I have a million-dollar term policy that I pay for $20 a month. Okay, so did you look at how much it's going to cost in 10 years? Right. Yeah, because when I call Did you look at how day. much it's going to cost by the end of the 30th year? Because right. I guarantee you by the end of it's the 30th the year, same. it's going to yeah. cost thousands a month to maintain, mm-hmm. which is how a lot of insurance companies get, get they black red. people and minorities because they fill them with these companies that tell them, oh, you should get term. Right. You know, all know which company I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. But they Hello. say, oh, you should get term. You, you should get term. You should get term. And then guess what <laughs> happens? You get this term okay. policy, and even if you're able to pay it up until a certain point, I guarantee you, you won't be able to pay it to the end of that year, that 30th year, right? because it's going to cost more. And remember, when you retire, your income changes. Right. So how many people you know that are on fixed incomes that are senior citizens that can pay two, three thousand dollars a month for insurance? They go right. back to work. So what happens? They lapse the policy. Yeah, and, and then, then they're they like a lot anything. of people that come to me and they're in their eighties and they say and they I had this huge policy that I've been paying so much for and it's finally going up to over a thousand because that's what I heard about from one of my family members. I couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. Like you've been paying over a thousand dollars a month and you're almost eighty and now wow, she can't afford ridiculous. it, which means now it lapsed. All that money she put in is gone, yes. and now the most I can give her is fifteen thousand based on her health issue. Oh my God! So bo- timing bo- is bo- everything. Bo- timing is everything. Get oh life insurance. Oh at least get a quote. Oh and then remember, no. even no. if you get a policy today, let's say you want to look for approval, <laughs> you can look for approval, and you still have thirty days to pay. So some people are like, oh, I don't want to start till next I week. You. you can get approved today, and you can pick a date within 30 Fantastic days to start girl. your pay. He said, he said why you. is this not on NRP? <laughs> he paid too much. <laughs> I'm, just I'm not saying, doing this but, today. Uh, if everybody knows this is what I do. I go around to many different communities. I, I just recently pop, spoke pop, at. Pop, pop, birthday, bye, um, we got we to gotta wrap up. But look, yes. this this what I want. is what I want to tell y'all, because we had so much more to give y'all, but... We had mm-hmm. to give Dada the first hour because yeah. he had booked somebody which broke into our time. But Sorry. y'all know me, I'm unstoppable. So what I'm going to do is I am going to host this thing online. We're going to do a virtual online mm-hmm. yeah, ladies night. Sure. And we're going to all be home. Absolutely. And we're going to all bottle it up. And we're going to finish our conversation. And we're going to stop what we feel like. It. Absolutely. Because <laughs> we have so much more to give. And so, I really so hate to leave right. the people like un- unfulfilled with what I actually wanted to give y'all. And I know we gave y'all something, but I don't feel like I gave y'all enough of what I know is sitting at this damn table. Okay? Amen. So I'm going to check with the girls. We're going to touch base. They're going to tell me a good day for them and we're gonna go live facebook live and instagram live we're gonna do stream yard and make sure that it's on all platforms so that all you guys can see it make sure it's on youtube and all that other wonderful stuff so that you guys can actually get more of you know 
what we have to give because we have a lot to give. I didn't even I didn't even get into the money mindset yet. Okay, <laughs> right, I didn't even right, get right, into right. the part of telling you why why your money funny because you're thinking wrong. <laughs> you know, I didn't even get to that yet. But it's okay, y'all. It's a little after eight thirty, and not only that, I have some some guests here who are going to you know take the time out to celebrate my birthday with me. They're in the back in the Sugar Hill Lounge, and so we're gonna um, we're gonna skate out of here. But before we go. I need everybody to at least tell once again how people can find you and all that wonderful stuff before we get out of here. And then we're going to do our happy birthday toast. Yes. And then we're going to go in the back and we're going to turn up. Yes. Because we're supposed to right now, which y'all supposed to be seeing us at 830. According, according to the one sheet that I created for my ladies night, Donna. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Donna. <laughs> we were supposed to be doing a taste test at 830. Right now is the time we're supposed to we'll be tasting Tatisha's pool, mm-hmm. getting high and bougie right now. <laughs> but it's all good because guess what? We're going to continue it in the back. When we get in the back, we're going to have our, t- our phones on. We're going to continue to go live. We're going to continue to rock out. And we're going to show y'all what it is. But then we absolutely going to come back one day next week. The same crew and the ones that didn't make it too because they had some situations. But I want everybody to, to get the full of this. You know what I mean? Right. Feminism finance is important to me. And I want to take this on the road. And the ladies that y'all see here with me, I'm taking them with me. And we are going to be feminines and finance across the globe. Y'all going to know who we are. Y'all going to know our names. Y'all going to know that we don't play, but we help you get paid. You heard? Amen. Right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Soto. He said amazing job and Curtis so share with them how to, how to get you inside. sure um, Madison Frazier um, I can be so contacted long. at Madison mm-hmm. Realty and Associates dot com or, or or Instagram easier Miss Madison Realty MS Madison Realty my direct cell is 908-733-1982 and I look forward to earning your business yes yes love yes love it love it <laughs> All right, so again, uh, my name is Atia Bell. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. You can Google me. I've been in magazines. I recently was in the Business Insider as well. Oh, that's a big one. Um, my name is spelled A-T-I-Y-A. Last name is Bell, like ringing a bell. Um, and you can also go to my website. That's insuremetee.net. My cell phone number is 201-407-6253. All right. And if you guys are ever in the building, the Academy building, I have my office on the seventh floor, suite 705. Woo! Yeah. All right. And I also am training. So anyone who decides they may possibly want to get into the career of life insurance. I may, I may. I mean, I think maybe we all need. We can right, use another right, train, right? right. train lots of people. We, have so we, lots of we, 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 we not afraid to say yes to the money, girl. Right. <laughs> and I can you know? show you how to get it because our community needs honest, ethical people ethical. who are going yes. to give direct information like I am, my goal is to duplicate myself because I can't reach everybody. Exactly. Right? But as long as I train everybody else, yes. you know, whoever I train, that's, they that's can also We're feminines in finance. Yes. Well, you like, know, it's, a, it's official. It's Trademark. Oh, I will. That part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will. Tatisha, tell them. Tell them where they can find you at. Tatisha Nichols. I'm at Grits and Glamour.com. And I'm at Instagram at Grits and Glamour. I'm on Instagram at hi underscore and A N D underscore bougie. Mm-hmm. And how, how are you spelling bougie? B O U G I E. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, guys, let's clap it up for everybody. And thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Listen, guys, next week we're just going to choose a date and we're going to continue to rock this out. Okay? Because uh, We can do an online session. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I want us to do it virtual because we can even invite more people yeah. and stuff like that or whatever. And In fact, I don't care. How about we could all meet at Tatisha's venue. Oh, come on. I like that. that. Let's do that. Let's go over time. Did you know we'll be Is it going to be Chris right. there? And then I'll finish, and I'll finish it now, up. Now, it depends on that's, what time you come. Yes. And then, yes, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. All right. So, I, we, we, this is to be announced, guys. You see, when you have masterminds on deck, like, we just come up with stuff or whatever. So, I, I, I can't say that the event is going to be next week, but we are going to do something we'll at Tatisha's venue. Yes. And we're going to do this women in finance, feminists in finance, and we going to invite other people to come out and join us live so y'all can get some taste of the grits and glamours and right. also get high and bougie right. yeah <laughs> all right y'all we are out of here we gotta um get ready to, to, to go uh, 
get my cake and all that bottles. other stuff. Let's, let's pop, pop these pop bottles the over here. Let's, 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 you know, my girls, they really, really, really yeah. looked out for yeah. me tonight. Yeah, we bought us some bottles. We have some yes. food. Yes. Yes. Love you, girl. Look, yes. Love yes. Look at this little baby. <laughs> I just love it. How do we get this open? We're going to pop this Ooh, bottle. Get your glasses, go ladies. I'm going to go champagne, too, y'all. All right. By the way, I was a bartender off and off for many years. Awesome. So I've learned different ways to pop Look, the bottle. This is my baby's um, baby shower. Him and his wife. They baby, so. Ladies, ready? Oh, yes, sorry. We ready, we ready, we ready, we ready. Oh, yes, please get pictures and, 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 and toasts, and, and, you know. But we're going to get some when we get in the, in the other spot anyway. Yes. But, all right, so come on, y'all. All righty. Y'all got it? Y'all got it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, y'all be looking all right. Because right. we're not going to waste it in. <laughs> that's right, that's right. We're not going to waste it in. We're not wasting nothing. Oh, be careful. We got oh, electrical no, equipment over here. It's going to cost a lot of money. Right. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> look, look, I know you're the bartender. Say, stop, been, stop. I was yeah, a bartender. Are you messing up Zay Electric? A T is Zay going to come up there and own the seventh no. floor? Oh, no. Look, so I'm trying to tell you. Oh, she said, <laughs> oh, no. That's a seventh I'm floor. I'm glad you said second floor because I'm on the look. seventh okay. floor. Okay. <laughs> It won't be mine. Make sure you get get pictures of the screen of you guys on the screen and all of that. Because you know we're going to share and all of that wonderful stuff. Okay, I'll wait Cheers. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, y'all. Oh, wait. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy in there okay thank you of course <laughs> <laughs> sounds great everybody thank you all so much for tuning in oh, yeah, by the way i'm sorry i didn't mean to serve you it's okay. don't don't worry guys. Right. 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 Like, we will be back next week and we will finish up what we haven't completed y'all can see that ladies oh, you know what that's the only thing i hate when i do ladies now y'all know when to shut up uh-uh. <laughs> bye <laughs> I love y'all. Thank y'all again so much. And come back again. Hey, Rich. Thank y'all. We out of here for now. And um, y'all can join us at the after party at the Sugar Hill Lounge. If you tune in, if you know where it's at. If you don't know where it's at, that means you don't belong here. Okay? <laughs> so I'm sorry. My bad. If I hurt your feelings, but it's just how I feel. Okay? All right. <laughs> Baby mama. But, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. We, I, we <laughs> out of here, guys. I tried to play a song, Zay, but I don't know. I, I didn't do a good job because I pressed play and all of that. But I just hit any. I don't care. Hit, uh-uh. Just play a song. Now press play up there in the top. Oh, oh. No, press the uh-uh. play button. Did I learn that, girl? That's this right here? Yeah, play that. that right here? Yeah. The other one. This one? That's the pause button. Press it. No, go all the way to the left. To the big button. I save quartz. All the way to the left. You know? Oh, oh, my sister um, has like this whole, what's that about? Sorry. I have no clue. I have no choice. I used to drink wine, so I think I would talk about this. So... You know, dude called me last night. Oh, boy. I'm, like, so beginning to think, like, we can't even be friends, Chops. Like, every time I want to talk to you,